Hello, my name is Colin Riddington, and this is the latest in my series of hints and tips for access. It's the first in a series of videos about ways of getting users' attention effectively, and today's topic will be better forms of message box. Now, to do this, I'm going to be using what I call my attention seeking database, and that contains a whole series of different ways of getting users' attention. Let's cover some of these quickly now. Simple things standard and formatted message boxes, a more complex form of message called task dialogues and your own customised message boxes which allows you to have as much flexibility as you want including HTML formatting and timer effects if you want to have them. You can use text-to-speech or sounds, obviously that requires speakers. In the next video we'll be looking at animation effects including transparency and fade and ways of affecting the background by dimming it, blurring it or removing it so as to focus your user's attention on the foreground, what you want them to look at. In the third video we'll be looking at different ways of handling text to make it stand out such as making it flash on and off or scroll across the screen. And we'll also cover what are called balloon tool tips, sometimes called system tray notifications messages in the bottom right system tray area of your monitor. You can also have caption text for form title bars flash or scroll in the same way. And if we want to, we can use warning sounds to alert users when it's something that particularly needs their attention. Again, that requires the use of speakers. And finally, a very simple way of getting messages to your users at particular times when you need them to pay attention, for example, to alert them that the database is about to close for maintenance. Now of those, we're going to be looking at the first four of those items in today's video, the different forms of message box. Without any further delay, let's open the database. Now the attention seeking demo then has got a whole series of different things that I'll cover over the next few videos, but we're just going to deal with the very first few items here. Now the standard message box you'll be very familiar with, and apart from the beep that you may have heard in the background there, it has little impact. It's very easy for users to just click OK without even bothering to read it. We need ways, if we can, of getting more attention. And one way of doing that is to bold part of the message. It's called a formatted message box. The first section of text is bolded, the rest of it is normal text there. Now it's slightly more impact there. Now to do that, we use a function called formatted message box. And the idea then is that the text before the at symbol then is bolded and the rest of it is normal, the rest of after the at symbol. Now the actual function is fairly complicated. It uses a VBA function called eval, which has got a whole series of different uses, but in this particular case, all it's doing is bold in the first section. So a formatted message box, bold text in the first bit then, at symbol, everything after that is standard text. So it gives you a little bit more impact. If you need more flexibility than that, one method of doing it is what's called task dialogue messages. Now task dialogue messages were developed by a number of people, particularly by Kevin Bell from accessui.com. And I'll show you some of the things you can do with task dialogues. One limit of ordinary message boxes is you can only have a few buttons, three plus a help button maximum, and there's a limit to the number of different symbols that you can have as well. With the task dialog, you can have, for example, a banner, different icons, and if you really needed them, you can have all of the buttons at the same time. What you'd ever do with all of them is another matter, but you could have all of those buttons there. Or you can have a slightly more modern interface where you call what's called command buttons on this on the Access UI website. I can either click this one, press me, or no, no, press me instead. Either of those will stand out slightly more. Even more variation is possible though than that. Again, we've got a banner, but this time, as well as the main bit of text here, below the buttons, we've actually got a footer section. And in this particular case, that footer section even has a link to the website, accessui.com. I'll show you the website in a second when I've shown you the fourth example. And the fourth one I'm going to show you is a message box which includes a progress bar and also an auto-close method, something that isn't possible with the standard one. So if I click on that, a progress bar is moving across the screen and after 10 seconds when it gets to the end there, if you haven't already closed it, it will then automatically close the message. But of course you can also do it by clicking on it at any time. So these are just four of the many different examples. Let's go to the accessui.com website 
and you'll see some of the ones that I've shown you here but also a whole series of others as well and I found that it's a very powerful tool and as long as you want one of the different things that are available within the items offered there you can do quite a lot of things with it but if you try to actually get something that goes beyond what it offers there it becomes quite difficult to do so you might prefer to say well instead of that why don't I just create my own form here's one example now this is just a standard access form go into design view we've got the space there where I actually show a symbol message text here, different message section which can be in a different colour, different size and a whole series of buttons. Let's go back to the form itself. Now in this then I've shown a different sort of icon, much larger form, header, footer, bold text, italicised text, different colour, different sizes and so on. You can do an awful lot with it and you can have more than three buttons if you want. I've got five here although I'm not using all of those. and let's see what different things we can do with it. We could click on this button here, mark warning, and if we click on that we got a rather irritating klaxon sound, but apart from that it didn't do anything else at all. You've got a lot of flexibility here, but please don't overdo the formatting like this. This is really a totally hideous effect and that would annoy your users intensely you might actually get everyone remembering it but that will not be something that they'll remember with any fondness at all so I would avoid doing something like that I hope I made my point the third screen here this is all the same form by the way just different examples of this you can use a checkbox to store users preferences so they don't actually see a particular screen again you could have a help file from here as well etc and the different screens that I've shown you there are all stored in a table. You can see the formatting, etc. Customized message form, this time with a timer, is a different sort of effect. And this is one I use in some of my production databases just before having to close for maintenance on hopefully rare occasions. When I click on the OK button, it will open a form which will start counting down. And as it starts the countdown, it will also alert users with a text-to-speech message, which is automatically generated. And I will keep quiet for a few seconds while that actually runs. Hi, Colin Riddington. Apologies, but this application needs to be closed for system maintenance in just under three minutes at 17.45. Please save your work and close the application. Now while that speech message was taking place, it was already starting to count down. So we've now got about two and a half minutes left. And in the next two and a half minutes, the users can actually finish what they were doing and then leave when they're ready. And if they don't leave before the three minutes are up, it will close automatically. Now obviously that message is in the way, they can't move it, but what they can do is click OK. And when they click OK, it will disappear for a while. They can then carry on with their work, but so they don't forget, it will return at periodic intervals, as you can see here. And you can vary the time intervals that it reappears at, but it will, as I say, reappear. They can't forget about it. Now, in a real database, you wouldn't have a stop countdown button, but for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to click that, and that will actually stop the timing event going on. That's all I want to cover for today. In the next video we're going to be looking at some of the other effects including animation and so on. If you don't want to wait until the next video and would like to see and try out some of these effects yourself then go to, to my website https www.isledogs.co.uk slash attention hyphen seek and you will see this page from which you can download the attention seeking demonstration database with all the different effects. And finally, as always, thanks for watching. If you found it useful, please add a like and leave a comment on the YouTube page. Please suggest some topics for future videos in this series. You can contact me via my website by email. And please do subscribe to the YouTube channel. You'll be notified whenever new videos are uploaded. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.